me boys and girls, here's the wall, ages the one and only Charlie Brown. I'm a little bit out of breath right now because I was just running around pretending that I was Hawkeye. Yeah, I got the little nerf, like bow and arrow. I don't have a legit one. You know, I'm not like Kate Bishop. Anyway, I'm here for a review. And the review that I got is the review for Hawkeye. Now, they only gave us a few episodes. Um, and it was a very short knit, very tight, tight knit story. Uh, Hawkeye had to get back home and it's in the process of getting back home. Freeze, one second, uh, spoiler alert, just in case you guys haven't had a chance to check it out. Go and watch it, then come back, I'll wait. Oh, you guys back, okay, cool. All right, so, so it starts off with Kate Bishop, you know, explaining about her, how she saw um, the battle uh, in New York, you know, that happened in the first Avengers movie, and how she basically fell in love with and tried her best to be a hero, just like like Hawkeye, you know, much like me, my son himself. So, she went around and she learned how to how to use the bow and arrow. She learned how to flip and kick and punch and do all this crazy stuff. Okay, so the first two episodes I really wasn't down with. I really didn't like them that much. I like how it showed Kate Bishop, how she became a character she is. Um, but I, I kind of found Kate Bishop a little bit annoying in the first two episodes. When we got to the third episode, everything kind of opened up more, especially when it introduced the character Echo. After Echo character was in introduced, I was like, cool, I'm on board, let's do this, let's go. Now, that's saying a lot because Hawkeye is actually one of my favorite uh, Marvel characters. So, for me to think that the first two episodes were kind of, like, kind of lackluster or not really that good says enough, says a lot, you know. That's like me trying to say that I didn't like a Spider-Man movie. Wait a minute, I didn't like Spider-Man Part 3, the one with Tobey Maguire. Anywho, that had nothing to do with Spider-Man. Okay, so... After that happened, they actually introduced the Kane Pen inside the series, which was pretty cool because the same week they introduced Kane Pen, spoiler alert, they also introduced Daredevil into the MCU. And the good Daredevil, not Ben Affleck, not that, not not that trash. No, no. I'm talking about from the, from the series, from the Netflix series. You know, from uh the Daredevil episode uh series one, two, and three. He um he also popped up in the Defenders. Defenders wasn't really all that good. Mainly because of uh, Iron Fist, he was in it. Iron Fist is trash. He just trash as Venom. Venom trash and Iron Fist is trash too. Okay, but overall, the series, uh, the first two episodes, I didn't really care for. I don't know how you guys felt about it. Comment down below if you liked it. Um, but episode three and all the way through, uh, it started to pick up more. Um, it has a, it has a lot of humor in there. Um, but I think the best thing about it, about the Hawkeye series, now this is just for me personally. Okay. This is just for me. I think that the best thing about the Hawkeye series is how you see how Hawkeye is, is a human. He's a regular human. He's not a guy. He's a, he's a spy. He's a, he's an agent. You know, so when he gets hurt, he gets hurt. You know, he holds his ribs because his ribs are hurt. Um, but at the same time, it also shows uh, the fallout and, and things that he has to deal with, considering that he's the only Avenger that has an entire family. He has a wife. He has children that he has to worry about. Not to mention when they were when they were blipped away. Um, that's not really much of a spoiler, but anywho, when they were blipped away, he 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 lost it. And he went around as the rolling character, you know, dishing out pain to everybody. So, um, and this is the fallout from it and everything that he had to everything that he has to deal with considering that he was the rolling character. Um <clears throat> also at the same time, he has a hearing aid because of all those explosions that he been around. He did a good job showing that and elaborating on that. They also did a great job showing you how um, he uses his arrows because that's a lot of stuff. Like, a lot of people always ask that question. Like, um, he shoots up all these arrows, you know, what does he do? Like, how does he make them? And they explain that uh, throughout the series. Uh, it's actually uh, the very last episode where they actually show him making it and him showing Kate how to make it and stuff like that. Um, and the relationship between them. Uh, also, the fact that Kingpin showed up in there was, was really cool <clears throat> because Kingpin is one of my favorite villains across across uh, uh, Marvel. Um, he pops up in Daredevil. He pops up in 
and uh, the defenders, he pops up in, 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 like, you know, street level, like, like type criminals, you know, that's, that's who he is, you know, so a lot of people deal with him, especially the Punisher, Spider-Man, other people deal with him, and they did a great job showing him in this, and, and the reason why I'm, why I'm bringing that up is because I didn't like how they had uh, Kate Penn inside of the movie uh, Daredevil, again, with Ben Affleck. I didn't like that campaign at all. That campaign was horrible to me. I, and and when they first brought out this, the, the Daredevil series and they show campaign in there and uh, Vincent, uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this letter. I'm probably going to butcher it. Um, but when he decided to take that role, he did a great job in it. Get that man his roses. He deserves it. Um, but campaign and, and the actor that plays him, is, is that's one of those roles where it's like, don't recast that role keep him in that role so there's starting to be certain like people who actors who just embody those characters so i can't see anybody else playing those characters um uh, also uh another uh, cool thing about this was the the relationship between the characters the secrets that they had um how everything like came together in a nice little package at the end um there was a uh uh you know um elena from uh, uh, from Black Widow, Black Widow's sister. Uh, she got blimped away and they show that in here and they explain a little bit more about her character and why, what she was doing at that time period. And if you remember from, uh, uh, from Scarlett Johansson's movie, which was Black Widow, how it ended with her trying to come and uh, kill uh, Hawkeye. Uh, they touched base on that and they, they kind of wrapped that up in a nice little package too. But at this point now, we we have to figure out. Well, we we have to see where everything is going. You have the um, Hawkeye, uh, <clears throat> not Hawkeye, but Echo. Echo has her own series coming out, um, and I think it's going to touch base a little bit more about what what went down between you know her her family, or her dad and uh, Kate Pen. Um, not to mention uh, uh, the stuff that happened at the end of uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Now the thing is, um, the the Disney Plus uh, Marvel series is so much story that I will have to sit down and try to connect all the dots right now because I pretty much uh, just laid out a lot for you guys, like especially those that only watch the series or only watch the movies and it's not really up to date on everything that's going on. It's like if you miss one movie, it's like it's so much information within like one movie and one series that it's a lot to gather all in all it's very enjoyable um uh, a friend of mine actually said that he really was trying to find it kind of finding it hard to really get into it but i think he probably would enjoy the action and the way they they played this last episode off um to me personally i think they could have done with one more episode because there were other things in there that happened where i was like well in certain relationships that I was like, yeah, you know, we kind of need one more episode to like, kind of like flush that out a little bit more, but you know, that's kind of Nick picky, but all in all, uh, the first two episodes, I really didn't like that much, but the rest of the episodes, I thought they were really good. I thought, the, uh, I thought the characters were really good and I liked the story and, um, uh, how it lays out everything that, uh, Hawkeye's going through and what he's trying to get accomplished. So with that being said, I would like to say, I'm gonna give it a high pass. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it a high pass. Uh, uh, no, actually not. No, 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 no. You know what? I, you know what? Tell me what you guys think. Tell me if I should give it a high pass, low pass, or eh. All I know is it was good, but there were things that I thought that they could have use one more episode for but i don't think that 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 can really bring the grade down but you know what I'm, I'm i'm stick with it it passes no matter what um you guys i hope you enjoyed it and if you did enjoy it comment down below if you hate it comment down below no matter what's going on comment down below but if you excuse me now it's time for me to go pretend that i'm hawkeye again <laughs> yeah